Okay, let me do something very easily that no other YouTube photography channel has done before. You think they would have done it before? You think I would have even tackled it before? Sometimes the really obvious stuff even escapes me. It's like, you know, out of 4,700 videos, I'm not a made a video about that before. Isn't that interesting? And I get sick of people throwing around image quality. This camera got better image quality than that camera. Oh, do you know what image quality is? No, it just got better image quality. Let's define image quality. <laughs> now, we're not talking about the artifice. Um, excuse me, we're not talking about the, excuse me, let's back that up. Beep, 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 beep. We're not talking about the art, which obviously is of paramount importance. We're talking about the artifice, the pure technical image quality output. Now, we're going to leave this out, and I've made like countless hundreds of videos about lens image quality, micro contrast, resolution. Of course, most people think the only thing important about a lens, it's a sharp, it's a sharp, it's a sharp. Obviously, that's, I mean, the guy that has over 500 lenses, being me, and tested thousands of them, you know, I, I take the image quality a la the lens uh, uh, very seriously, but let's not discuss image quality regarding the lens. Let's talk about image quality a la the digital camera. When people say image quality, like, oh, big frames, if someone gave me a quote, and I, I had to reference that because they said, oh, this full frame sensor is 2.25 times larger by surface area, which, of course, it is. And, of course, exposure is per unit area, not per total area. And that, folks, that kiddies is the reason why every light meter on Earth, including the most expensive, have no settings for sensor size. There's nothing on here where I can choose micro four thirds, FX, DX, or medium format. Because exposure has nothing to do with sensor size. Exposure is per unit area. Bigger sensors don't translate into better image quality. Image quality, let's talk about image quality. Yeah, obviously it is the case that the larger the sensor has to be enlarged less to make a print, right? There's also some, uh, some other issues, circle confusion, airy disk, diffraction. Uh, specific, let's go into some of the key points. Obviously we're not talking about the lens, we're talking about the camera. File compression, whether it's lossless compressed or compressed. Now, lossless compression obviously is lossless. Raw versus JPEG. I hope to God you're shooting raw files. I mean, there's an infinite... I forget, what is it? Um, what is the tonality difference? Something like 12,000 on 12-bit. And that's just 12-bit, much less 14. 12,000 more tones on... Uh, on 12-bit RAW versus JPEG. So, RAW versus JPEG. I mean, the only reason to shoot uh, JPEG is uh, for like a quick uploads to like Instagram and Flickr. I don't care what the heck you shoot, but obviously if you're going to buy a serious camera and you're just shooting JPEGs, then why the hell did you buy a serious camera? Learn how to edit a RAW file, but this video is not about RAW versus JPEG, right? Tony and uh, Froboy went over that. Uh, I had a fight about that a few months ago. Image quality. No less than 30 things. I'm just going over the key ones out of the 30. Actually, there's like 34 of them. Image processing. Those people think, what sensors in that camera? What sensors in that camera? It's the same thing with lenses. How sharp is it? How sharp is it? People, uh, what sensor is in the camera? Who cares? Who cares? There's no such thing as a bad sensor anymore. There, there isn't, you know? No such thing. Image processing. What, 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 do, you, what, what do you think happens? to that image. I mean, it just goes straight from the uh, sensor onto your uh, SD card or compact flash card? No, image processing. Really, really important. For example, Nikon D750 has the exact same sensor as the Nikon D600, D610, but it was radically better for high ISO performance and a slightly improved dynamic range. Same sensor. Had nothing to do with the damn sensor. Had to do with the image processing AD converters. SNR firmware that's actually applied for uh, removing noise in uh, processing because noise has certain set frequencies. SNR, that's the signal to noise ratio at the sensor. Pixel pitch. Pixel pitch, right? Also, micro lens design. Image quality. And there's, I've seen at least 40 different designs of micro lenses. Some are from geometrical, bulbous, interlacing. It's fantastical the amount of micro lens designs, actually, little lenses that sit over top of the photo sites. Um, pixel efficiency, whether it's a normal convention, and it's all uh, silicon wafer lithography. All of this crap, okay, GFX, Sony, Nikon, all of it, silicon wafer. I got a silicon wafer right over there, okay. Normal or one of the new ones where the uh, actual wiring structure has been brought below the actual photo site 
where the actual electrical gain is uh, captured for uh, image sampling at the sensor for processing and dropping onto the card, like a BSI sensor, a backside illuminated sensor. So pixel efficiency, which is part of not only the pixel pitch, but the micro lens design, but the, also the nature of the silicon wafer, wafer lithography, how it's actually constructed. These camera companies are always trying to roll out new crap to impress you. Oh, you got to buy the latest and greatest. You know, like your current camera is not good enough to do the damn job, which of course it is. Number of megapixels, right? If you're doing portraiture, is 12 megapixels enough? Uh, yeah. You know why? Because unless you're shooting somebody without their permission, you can, like hold right there, you move in with your feet, or you move them in, and then you frame them. And then when you frame them, 12 megapixels is enough. You know why? Because you don't have to crop the image. You know, high resolution for portraitures, even if you're making uh, something larger than a 20 by 30, is not that important. You don't want to see the zits and the subcutaneous capillaries in someone's damn nose, do you? That's the first thing someone did when uh, that new 50 megapixel Canon came out. Like, look at it, look at it. They took this hot chick and they blew the image right to hell. It's like, look, you can see the varicose veins in her nose and there's a zit over here. No one wants to see that crap. Nobody. It's like, great. Now you got 50 megapixels of a hot chick that you can blow the hell up to 200% and you can see all the nasty pores and blackheads and... No one wants to see that crap. Nobody does. Like, I like a picture of my zits and pores, said the beautiful lady, never to any photographer. So, megapixels. Now, obviously for birding, like when I was shooting with Mark Smith, I, I love doing that for relaxation. Bird photography, grab the big ass, huge prime light. Nikon D850. 47 megapixels, I can crop the piss out of it, because you know, the birds don't come closer, you know? You gotta get as close to the bird as you can, and often they don't come that damn close, which means you gotta crop the piss out of the image. Great. Here in a high megapixel camera is really, really damn useful. Same thing with sports. Um, saturation, or ETTR, exposed to the right, or actual uh, SNR, signal to noise ratio. Amount of saturation, you got a lot of people like to underexpose. This actually hurts micro contrast, hurts ultimate saturation. You could drag the sliders only so much. If you didn't actually capture the low gain intertonal detail, you can't add that in Photoshop or Lightroom. It's impossible. There's no slider for adding detail that was never frigging captured to begin with. This is where dynamic range comes into play when you're talking about like a full frame sensor camera where you can crank the ISO way the hell up and you still got recoverable shadow detail. Analog to digital converter, like I said, D750, same as Nikon D610, same damn sensor. When people say image quality, and we're leaving out the lens, which is so damn important, people say image quality. And then, you know, someone else, like another YouTube photography channel, says, well, the sensor is two and a half times larger, it'll be two and a half times better. His exact quote from him is, two and a half times better image quality. Image quality entails a lot of different crap. Sensor size is not one of them. As I told you in a prior video, any sensor by any camera, I don't care if it's a damn Nikon, Sony, or Fuji, if you were able to like cut out a tiny portion, actually cut out most of the sensor and throw it away, of course it wouldn't work then, but if it did work, and you just had a tiny ass little sensor in there, even smaller than a micro four thirds, the dynamic range and the resolution and everything on that section that was still working would be exactly the damn same as the entire frigging sensor. If you take an image, like a printed image, and you like cut out a little portion of it, I mean, does you know does the dynamic range or the tonality change on that little section when you yank it out from the bit? Of course it does it. The same thing doesn't happen on the on a sensor. Exposures per unit area is so too dynamic range. Dynamic range is also per unit area. What the hell are people thinking saying this nonsense? Bigger sensors. <laughs> yeah, I actually meant to say that. They're bigger sensors. Everything someone says it's a bigger sensor. <laughs> so what? I got a, a crop sensor camera here. I got Nikon D850 back there. Two Nikon D4s. What the hell else full frame I got back there? Here's a Nikon D3. I got a few of those. Nikon D3s. So damn what? Here's a medium format GFX. Don't give me this crap about hey, bigger sensors. So what? There's crop sensor, there's full frame, there's medium format. You would think the guy that has the medium format and the full frame and the crop sensor and says, you know, 
Uh, so what camera do you use most of the time? Bet you use a bigger set. No, yeah, the crop, crop sensor camera. <laughs> it's a bigger sensor. It's better. Anyway, this video is about image quality. I get sick of people saying image quality. It's like, what do you mean by image quality? Because image quality, obviously, most people say image quality. They're talking about the lens. And, of course, I talk about image quality out of lenses endlessly. But what about just camera side image quality? No lens attached here, right? There is a lot of stuff that has to do with image quality. And it's not about how big the damn sensor is. Let me repeat that. It's not about how big the damn sensor is. It's not. I got the huge S sensor right here. Let me take the lens off this. You can look at the sensor. You see the medium format sensor. It's like, oh my God, that thing's huge. So what? It's also slow and huge, and it's meant for corporate gigs, product photography, business photography. Actually, I got a gig next week, a business that I know. I know the manager of the store. He wants me to take some business shots for his website. He's like, I know you got that medium format camera. I'd like some high resolution shots from you. Joe. That's fine. Bring a couple Godox units, take some shots of his business. Make a quick couple hundred bucks for like 30 minutes of work. 200 bucks for 30 minutes of work? Well, I'll actually spend like an hour at home in my underwear eating uh, Doritos. <laughs> Probably true. Sipping on coffee, editing the shot. So an hour and a half, 200 bucks. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to use this camera. People believe they just think I just sit here and fondle cameras. You know the reason my face is sunburned? is because when I was in Florida, I was out shooting the piss out of the, G, out of the uh, Fujifilm X-H1. I mean, I cranked over 9,000 shots. I was out every day pounding the hell out of that camera so I could do a real review. Not sitting in the house fondling the camera. My face is still peeling, by the way. Some people think I just sit behind this damn table, make videos. That's all it does, sit at the table, make videos. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. I get sick of people saying that, but, you know... When I'm not the, the person that's like, you know, hi, how are you doing? I love you. You know, you get a lot of people that hate you because you know why? Because I'm not running a popularity contest. Have you ever told, ever ever said in any video, like, please upvote this video. Please click the like button. Please. I've never said that stuff. When people say image quality, they have no idea what the hell they're talking about. Of course, we're talking about the lens, about the image quality. They're talking about everything, but just leaving out the lens, which, of course, is a, so frigging important. I mean, we talked about lens image quality endlessly. It's like, what do you mean by image quality? Oh, a bigger sensor. Blah, 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 blah. What do people do? You know, there's someone, there's a few, few people, <clears throat> one of which has countless hundreds of thousands of subscribers. I've got bazillion subscribers. And a bigger sensor is better image quality. No, it's not. No, it's not. You see this? This is a huge full-frame sensor. This is a crop sensor. But you see, this sensor has inferior image processing. This is a 10-year-old camera. This crop sensor camera will blow the hell and piss out of this. Well, I thought this YouTube photography channel was right because he says right here, let me read it, let me read it. The sensor is two and a half times larger. It'll be two and a half times better. Just the opposite is the case. This camera is easily five times better per unit area. It's not about sensor size. Than this camera. Well, it can't be. This is a bigger sensor than this. Yeah. This is what happens when someone knows something. They actually, you know, got the facts right. A lot of people, however, don't care about facts. What they do care about is the cult of personality. Well, I don't like him. He's fat, bald, and tattooed, and he's a schmuck, and, you know, <laughs> I just don't like his attitude. Well, what about my attitude has to do with the damn facts? That's actually one thing, regardless of whether it's photography and all, that always pissed me off about anybody. When someone else takes into consideration someone's personality over the damn facts, you know, immediately my brain, there's a little person inside of my brain that goes, you're a schmuck. Every time someone does that, and I know they do it all the time, I say, like, that little person in my brain goes, you're a schmuck. <laughs> no, I don't think there's a little person in my brain, okay? I've just had too much caffeine today. So, this is a video on image quality. So next time someone says image quality, tell that person to either... Define the parameters of image quality since they entail over 30 different things or to shut the... You know what I mean? Like, shut the... Image 
quality. It's got better image. What do you mean by image quality? Different file compression, different raw format, lossless compressed, compressed, image processing, SNR, pixel pitch, pixel efficiency, backside illuminated sensor, higher megapixels, better saturation, different saturation due to ETTR or better SNR per unit of time, different aperture because aperture greatly affects things. You know, you could take a lens that's really fast and stop it way the hell down and you'll get bad saturation and diffraction. On the sensors, I got a really fast lens. Here's a really fast lens. Here's an F1.2. If I stop it down to F18, F16, yeah. It's like having a Lamborghini and sticking it in first gear on the freeway. It's like you got a fast car, but you're driving it too slow, Grandpa. This is why I get pissed when someone says image quality. And especially when someone says, oh, that sensor's larger. It's got two and a half times better image quality. Well, that statement, not my opinion, fact, is twaddle, puppycock, and nonsense. Ha, 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 nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Nonsense. What is wrong with people? It's like, you know, someone's been told a thousand times, you're wrong. Here's the reasons why you're wrong. Boom, 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 boom. Ah, no, no, I'm sticking to that, you know. I've already said it. I'm going to stick with it. <coughs> That's called hubris. Repeat the word after me. Hubris. That is exactly what that is. Hubris. This is the sort of stuff you see in cults. It's like, I said it, therefore it's true. It's like, no, you've been proven wrong. Boom, 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 boom. No, 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 I said it. I'm sticking with it. Yeah. Ha, 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 ha. Hubris. <laughs> it's hubris it's like no you're wrong it's not my opinion that you're wrong it's like you are wrong boom 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 and everybody's wrong you know everybody gets something wrong no big deal life is short there's no omnipotent people out there most people are far less than omnipotent Om <laughs> omnipotent <laughs> jeez yeah don't ever tell me Captain Howdy. And because the camera's got a larger sensor in it. Eh, the sensor's two and a half times larger, therefore it's two and a half times better image quality. No, 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 and no. You're wrong. <laughs> this sensor is two and a half times larger than this sensor, this camera. But you know what? This tiny sensor, so to say, is infinitely better output than this. That means... In this case, the image quality is way better on this smaller sensor than on this huge sensor. You want to be proven wrong? I mean, there's, I mean, I could prove that statement wrong a thousand ways to Sunday. There's just one example. I'm sure you could think of a thousand more. <sighs> Stop the stupid. <laughs> this is the point in time where someone's going to type on the keyboard. You're an asshole. That's what someone's going to type. <laughs> I'll be like, got it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like these videos, always click the link below. Tell me to jump off a cliff. Tell me how much you hate me because I'm a schmuck. Even though I'm right, and as I said in the last video, I would rather be right than liked. And oh, brother, girlfriend, uh, do I mean that. I mean it so truly. I do. I'm actually a nice guy in person. Anybody that's met me, just ask him. He's a nice guy. He's a bit of a schmuck, but I, yeah, he's a nice guy. Who cares? <laughs> None of you are going to meet me anyway. A few people, a few of you have met me. Uh, yeah, there we go with that one. Jeez. I love it. Image quality. It's like, you have to talk, be a little bit more specific. Image quality is uh, very loose. Very loose statement. Refers to a lot of different stuff. Thank you. Goodbye.